Hi, Dan Murray, your restoration coach. Today's message is, some of your wording can mean a lot. By that, I mean uh, how we approach uh, different subjects that we talk to with our clients, especially brand new ones when we're especially with a homeowner and we need them to sign our customer contract. Contract can be a scary word to a lot of people. We have to be careful when we use it. You may want to consider renaming it as your customer service agreement, um, your, uh, you know, or other type of words. But just be careful. Uh, there's legal issues, obviously, that you have to be aware of. But try to make sure that you come up with user-friendly words for the title of your documents. People, uh, in some states, you have to have contracts. I understand that in provinces it's, it's mandatory. But in other areas, you are quite okay to work with a service authorization uh, and another type of terminology. And it's according to how detailed it is. If you're going to go into a, a quarter million dollar rebuild, of course you're going to want a contract. If you're going to go in and do a, just a uh, you know a thousand dollar small little cleanup job, uh, you know a service authorization will probably do just fine with a visa number or payment terms clearly des described. So that's just the tip of the day. Is just think about how you call, call what you call some of your documentation uh, for your initial contact uh, with certain customers. Okay, cheers. Dan Murray, your restoration coach. And I apologize for the road noise, but I just wanted to get this video message out while it was fresh in my mind. Cheers for now.